Hey guys, how's it going? So I'm doing a experiment kind of for dinner tonight and um, my friend Amy asked me to do like a cream of broccoli soup recipe um, and so to put my own twist on it I decided to do like a chunky creamy potato leek broccoli type soup. So let's experiment. Let me show you what I'm going to put in this. All right, so of course we got the broccoli. This is a package from Costco. I'm really not sure how much is in this bag, but if you just use one package of frozen broccoli or one big head of broccoli, you should be fine. I'm gonna probably use about a tablespoon of lemon juice instead of using salt, because I believe my vegetable broth already has a little bit of salt in it. I'm gonna use garlic, one bay leaf, um, probably a cup or two of cashew milk to give it the creaminess some vegetable broth to saute the leeks and the garlic and then we're going to use some potatoes and some carrot for the chunkiness and um, I'm probably going to put some frozen corn in it too to give it a little bit more extra chunkiness and green onions for garnish so that's what we're starting with here Okay, so I'm sauteing my leeks and about a tablespoon of garlic and a little bit of veggie broth. And then I'm just going to um, do that for a few minutes. And then I will... Ah, my pot's going all over the place. Just going to let these brown up a little bit. Well, probably not brown, just wilt down a little bit. And then I'm going to add my veggie broth and my carrot and my potatoes and my corn and the rest of the veggie broth. And then I'm going to steam that. All right, so that's cooked down, and now we're going to add our carrots and our diced potatoes. That was just, excuse me for the angle, just one large carrot. And then here's part of my potatoes. I still need to cut the rest, but I'm going to add all the potatoes and the broccoli and the vegetable broth. Okay, so I finished adding the potatoes. Now I'm gonna add my broccoli and my corn. And this is about a little more than a cup of corn, frozen corn. I'll get the rest of that out of there in a second. And then the whole thing of veggie broth to steam this. And I'm gonna add some pepper and some Costco no salt seasoning to this. And one tablespoon of lemon juice to replace the salt. You can use uh, salt if you'd like, pink Himalayan crystal salt or table salt if that's what you prefer instead of lemon juice. I just would rather not add the excess salt because this already has 530 milligrams of salt in it. So yeah, I don't want to add any more excess salt. Okay, so you can see I used quite a large pot and this is a lot of seasoning. I like my stuff spicy so you can add as much as you want, you know, taste it as you go and see. Now I'm going to add my cashew milk since I used such a large pot and some of the liquid is going to boil off as I boil the potatoes probably for about 35 minutes or so. I'm going to probably add at least half of this container of cashew milk if not the whole thing. Hmm. This is my first time making this, like I said, so everything is a guesstimation. So you can add as little or as much as you want. I think I'm going to leave it. I think I'm going to leave it at that. Probably a little bit more than half of the carton I used. Now I'm going to stir this up and I'm going to put the bay leaf in and then sorry, that's potato stuff on my hands. Um I'm going to boil it till the potatoes are soft and then I will find the bay leaf and take it out and then I'm going to blend half of this in my um, Vitamix and pour it back in and leave it just a little bit chunky and a little bit creamy. And I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. Okay, I changed my mind. I added the whole carton because when I was starting to stir it I was seeing how chunky it, it is and it needed a little bit more liquid so I used one whole carton of cashew milk. Now I'm going to put the bay leaf in and we're going to boil it like I said. 30 minutes till the potatoes are tender.
Okay, so I took half of it out and I stuck it in my Vitamix and I blended it and it's not as thick as I want it to be and I remembered that I was originally going to put some tofu in it to make it more creamy. So I think I'm going to add um, a package of tofu to this and see what happens. Sorry for the mess over here. It's my cutting board. <laughs> but this is the tofu that I'm going to use. I'm going to add it to the blender and see what happens. Here's my blender. I put the tofu in there and now I'm going to mix it all back together. Oh my goodness, I totally forgot to look for the bay leaf. I hope I didn't blend it up in the soup. <laughs> I'm going to have to look for it now. I hope bay leaves won't make you sick if you eat them. I have no idea. Or if they're just super bitter or something if you chew them. Let's see if I can find it. <laughs> Phew, thank goodness I found it. Um, this soup is not the prettiest thing ever made. It's, I wish I had um, waited to stick the cashew milk in until after it was uh, already blended. It's kind of an ugly color, but now I'm going to taste it and see if it needs more seasonings. I ended up adding more Trader Joe's seasoning and a little bit of salt because I had actually looked up how to neutralize the lemon flavor and it said to put a fourth a teaspoon of baking soda in it and I did do that to neutralize the lemon flavor so then I added in regular salt and Trader Joe's seasoning and it looks kind of like an egg drop soup almost it's like a yellowish yellowish egg drop soup te texture so let me taste it now that I put the extra seasoning in it. Sorry for the super bad lighting. It's, you know, nighttime in my kitchen. I'm pretty sure this is kind of going to be considered a failed experiment because it didn't turn out how I expected really at all. It just tastes kind of like a bland potato soup. So I have to say I failed on that one, but thanks for joining me while I tried to make a new recipe for you guys. Maybe you guys can improve it and make it so much better than I did. Let me know if you do in the comments. <laughs> okay, so after adding some more salt into it and like the whole thing of green onions that I had cut up, it's actually pretty good. So if you want to give it a try, let me know what you think. <laughs> if not, if you never experiment, you'll never know if something is good, right? What do you think, boys? It's awesome. Good. Even you like it? Really? It wow. Good. I am so happy. That's awesome. And now I'm going to go eat my second bowl. <laughs> mm.